welcome you all to the 23rd edition of the Mysore Sport YouTube channel. Motor racing and bike racing is very popular in the sporting world. In sporting world, bike riders and motor racers have to exhibit their topmost skill to provide the thrill and the and and the uh, excitement to the spectators. One such uh, racer in Mysore is Somendra Singh sir, who has who has thrilled the spectators with his uh, excellent uh, racing during his uh, early 60s and 70s and continued to conquer the race track uh, throughout the country. He later on uh, went on uh, to uh, go forward in his exploits and conduct races and also uh, he went he was the first person in Mysore uh, to uh, go up in the air with the hang glider and uh, did his aviation and uh, with the Garuda Sports and later on he started his own Speedwell uh, team which, uh, ha which and its members uh, won laurels in the national level with, with, the, uh, with their performance and later on he continued a mechanic and a love for automobiles carried him through and uh, he uh, had his research going on throughout uh, his uh, career and now also he is continuing it. He has his own patent on efficient in engines for fuel efficiency and he has got his own patent with the in USA for the same and he has won the Rajyotswa award and the Dasra award given by the government of Karnataka and he is a true lover of, of uh, automobiles and he has devoted his life toward, towards it and many lessons are to be learned from him uh, on, on dif different uh, things, how to innovate and how to uh, come to fuel efficiency. Many people have not used his technology and it is a loss for them and the country for not using what he has found out and it is high time uh, the fuel efficient uh, engines are used to bring reduction in the fuel which is consumed and in these days of eco uh, environment. On behalf of the Mysore Sport YouTube channel, I welcome Sri Somendra Singh and uh, tell us about your early days. I was very fortunate that my father was in the army and I happened to be his son where I was exposed to major places in the in the defense uh, circles where I was exposed to aircraft, where I was exposed to motorcycles, where I was exposed to tanks, uh, battle tanks, all this kind of Where exposure. was this place? These were in Jamnagar, Hyderabad, uh, Gujarat, yeah, various other places where we got this opportunity to see these things. Without this exposure, I wouldn't have learned discipline, I wouldn't have got these people and there was no way a civilian could go that close and touch an aircraft to talk to somebody. So this was my very early beginning which gave me this exposure and my foundation that I learnt all these things. How was the experience meeting the astronaut? See, this was much, much later. This was in school, in Hyderabad Public School where again I was exposed. Our school was next to the airport and I was exposed to various type of aircraft. Begumpet. Begumpet airport and I was at one point the first cosmonaut Mr. Yuri Gagarin came to India after his first this thing and he was a star. Everyone looked up to him. And I had the opportunity to go and see his, him coming to the airport in Begumpet and later meeting him in our school, we were taken to the embassy. So these are exposures again, where we got to see all these other bits where no normal person will get an exposure to get. True, it inspired you? Obviously, because he had touched the skies, beyond the skies, he had touched the stars and come back. So in the 60s, he was the first person to have gone out of orbit and come back alive. True. Ah, yes. how, how did it go on from there to no, Mysore? Uh, no, from there, see, I was exposed to all these things where I was in the NCC and I was exposed to aero modeling where engines became a part of it and that became my base to get into motorcycling. So once we came to Mysore, the opportunity again went 
Because that I was saw, in the early 60s. Uh, yes, in the early 60s when I just got to see these Java people and all that. Much before that, I had sprouted a new club in Mysore where all the youngsters then were very uh, elderly people today. In 1965, I sprouted a club for youth. It was called Teens and Twenties. Oh. And Mrs. Irani was the president. Oh, the... And that was a earth shattering and we, I was a guitar star. How did you take up to racing? How was that? Uh, racing, racing. Now what happened was, the, my friend who was very interested, who was no more, he was very keen that we go to Coimbatore because we, the race was taking place in Coimbatore in 1966. So when we, we uh, somehow I begged my father that I'm just going to Bangalore, he never knew I was going to Coimbatore. The whole night we drove through Dimbam, all that facing and then we went and saw the first race where all Sri Lankans and top people came and said, so that was when I was inspired by I got to see it. And then the other person who really rang a bell in my life because I had heard of one person called G.D. Naidu. Yeah. So I went to his house, Gopal Bagh and his museum and stood there and it was a Sunday, we couldn't do anything. In a innovator par excellence. He was the ultimate of India, India's geniuses, to be very frank because he was very... So such people were my gurus, they, they were the people who, who actually inspired me, you know. And we took, his, took our motorcycle to Madras to race. That is in a matter of three years. I beat the Java racing team itself fair and square in front of everyone. It was called Speedwell Motors. Now that Speedwell racing and rallying, first racing came. Then we started doing rallying. Rally. And then finally what happened was, we were encountering a lot of problems when we went from Mysore, they were, we were treated as second-hand citizens, you know. Bangalore or Madras and all that. So I said, why not we start our own club? So that's when we, I sprouted this club called Automotive Sports Club of Mysore. Mysore, yeah. Now that club slowly started, then we introduced dirt track and racing. people in Mysore used to throng Lalit Mahal for aut uh, the yes. autocross yes. and dirt track yes. and yes. Uh, Singana, you gave us a lot of thrill for us. Thank you very much because that was the first time exposure. I only remember that in 19... 60 or 61, the Maharaja of Mysore and Java factory owners, Mr. Irani, had got, conducted a race near the hills in yeah. a triangular fashion. That was the only race. So later on, after 60, in 70s, we started in, started conducting these races, which got very popular. In 1976, an Italian gentleman came and demonstrated hang gliding from Chamundi Hills. Yeah, that that's, is, that's how that, you took up to hang, hang yeah, gliding. I, the passion was there. A poor man came here and he had never experienced something where the whole town came and the wind pattern changed. Somehow he jumped and went off, left his hang glider with us. Then later on, I had to take up to hang gliding. The, the first hang gliding rally that took place in India, a really big rally was the Himalayan hang gliding rally. So I went to that rally, managed to go there and buy a very advanced hang glider, the first of its kind, and brought it back. That bringing it back was another very big thing because we had to carry it. It had to come by an Air Force plane and all that. So later on, we put a Java engine with the help of a French gentleman. Tell us about and your sorties and yes. uh, during so, the Dasra so, and yeah. how so, the people enjoyed it. Yes, so now once we got flying, then I accumulated three flying machines. First was a single seater, then we came to a double seater, then we came to a advanced double seater. So that was safe enough for me to take people for a flight because if something went wrong from zero to zero. As an automobile, this thing, you for a fuel efficiency engine, you found your own patent. Tell us about that. See, basically my life started with a small aero modeling engine, which at the age of 10, I learned how to start it, how to mix fuel and I knew what tuning was from that age. So that helped me grow much faster than anyone else. Then later on, all these engines that I experienced, I came to see the deformities. There was a limit that you could go. Beyond that, there was a hurdle. Now this was, the hurdle is very clearly defined in all the textbooks, in all the cars. So I wanted to get past that hurdle. And this is where we did something with the combustion chamber, which happens to be the heart where fuel turns into fire. Now, the resultant of that is what power you eventually get. Get. The, 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 it depends on what cartridge you put. 
Correct. So that is where my research from all this it went to where it takes place. That's like a millisecond, just you like put, a flash. You, you no. put four holes. Uh, no, no, no. That is the place where you had to mix the fuel and air better. It's a very short span where the piston closes is in millisecond. So what my invention achieved was a better mix, which resulted in better combustion and which resulted in lesser emissions. So we wrote out a pattern. Now again, I am a total unpart. I have not gone to any college. Now I had to take so many references. Thank God that the in internet was there for me to pick up all these things and start writing. So I wrote my own pa pattern. It's again a credible thing where I don't take great credit. It went, it was rejected, then we had to employ a top class uh, patent attorney in America who managed to get us this first patent. 20 years went, but everyone kept asking me, how did you derive it? How did you, how much did you spend for the thing? And, but they did, were not interested to find out what is the net result. Now I've got my second patent, which is on diesel engine. Now the whole world is crying because of, of climate, the ecosystem prevailing. Climate change is causing havoc. And now they've set a deadline by 2035, there will be no more IC fire engines inside. So, the, so we've got a small window, but even now the hesitance to take this up is so, you know, because everyone is more interested to find out what your education is, how did you do it, how could you derive this? Because everyone wants a mathematical model for them to come that it works. So now coming back to the uh, uh, practice and now uh, your research and other things, now how do you take, take it forward and what do you tell the uh, public in the days to come? How are we going to face this See, tough, tough world? Now, this is all about awareness. How to get the awareness going and how to take it forward from there. Thanks for uh, coming to our channel and speaking to us about everything and your exploits. I wish you well in the days to come and uh, Singana's memory will re remain forever and your racing. Thank you. Thank you. Ra oh, racing thank you is for about. Everything. All that I can tell all the viewers just do a Google search for three words. Somender Singh Grooves. Three words. Somender Singh Grooves. It is like so mender. That is my spelling. I'm supposed to mend the world. Somender Singh Grooves. Three words you put, you will get thousands of pages, you will get images, you will get everything what I whatever I spoke is in detail. So that will be one of the because few people can ever claim all these things and it is right there for all the viewers to just do Somender Singh groups. Three Best things. wishes. Thank you for Thank this. you. Thank Very you kind this. of you. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you.